Hello, good afternoon class. So, for our topic for today, we will tackle integumentary system. So, so this is a diagram or picture of the integumentary system, specifically the skin. So, we have different parts of the skin. So, we have the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis are also known as the subcutaneous tissue. So, the epidermis usually contains the, which is the outer layer of the skin, contains the hairs and the hair follicles. So, the dermal part or the inner part of the skin have sebaceous glands, erector pili or the smooth muscle for goosebumps, uh, nerves and veins and arteries, as well as sweat glands. And the adipose tissue is usually found in the hypodermis area. So, the integumentary system consists of the skin, hair, glands, and the nails. So, what are the functions of integumentary system? So number one, it separates the, it protects us from the external environment. So, our skin is the largest uh, organ in our body. So, it separates us and protects us from um, external environment so it also functions uh, in the sensation station our sense of touch uh, temperature regulation by sweating production of sweat vitamin D production uh, for the precursor of the production of the vitamin D and excretion of small amounts of waste products such as the sweat so comparison of skin and dermis and epidermis so we have different function so the outer layer of the skin is the epidermis so the epidermis is the superficial part of the skin with which is a stratified squamous epithelium composed of four or five strata. So you have to memorize all of the layers of the epidermis. Stratum corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum. In the base area is the basale. So um, the stratum corneum is the most superficial stratum of the epidermis. It is composed of 25 or more layers of dead squamous cells. So, and yun yung slough of uh, every time. So, the epidermis prevents water loss and entry of the chemicals in the mi microorganisms, protects against abrasion, harmful effects in ultraviolet light, produces vitamin D, so give rise to hair, nails, and glands. So, that is the epidermis. So, remember the five layers, stratum corneum, corneum, lucidum, granulosum spinosum basale CLG SB CLG SB so for the sound so then the next layer is the lucidum so 3 to 5 layers of dead cell appears transparent present in thick skin absent in most thin skin so just tandaan natin yung stratum lucidum Yan yung layer na wala sa mga thin skin. Next is granulosum. 2 to 5 layers of flattened diamond shaped cells. So, the stratum spinosum, may total of 8 to 10 layers of many sided cells. And the deepest part is the stratum basale. Single layer of cobodal or columnar cells, basement membrane of epidermis, which attach to the dermis. So, yun. 
So, ang lagi natin tandaan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. CLG. CLG. SB. Corneum. Lucidum. Granulosum. Spinosum. And basale. So, yan. Ito rin yung mga function ng layers na yun. So, provides structural strength due to keratin within prevents water loss due to lipid surroundings. So, meron nagdi-disperse ng keratohyaline around keratin fibers. Lucidum yun. So, produces keratohyaline granules, laminar bodies released from the lipid cells and dye. So, yun. And also, Produce keratin laminar bodies from inside keratinocytes. So the deepest part of the the deep part of the skin connective tissue is composed of two layers, the papillary layer and the reticular layer. So a papillary layer papillary to project toward the epidermis loose connective tissue. So the reticular layer is a matte collagen elastic fibers with dense irregular connective tissue. So, yun ating tatandaan, pag papi, si papi lay, papi lay, loose connective tissue. Si reticular, dense irregular connective tissue. So, yun. So, brings blood vessels close to the epidermis. Dermal papi lay, from the fingerprints and footprints. Ayan. Fingerprints and footprints. Papillary. It's the main fibrous layer of the dermis. Strong and many direction forms the cleavage lines. You can see? Reticular. So, yun ang tatandaan natin na. In the subcutaneous or the hypodermis area, not for skin, which is a loose connective tissue with abundant of deposits of adipose. So, fats lang siya. So, attached the dermis to underlying structures, adipose tissue provides energy storage, insulation, and padding So, yun. Tatandaan, epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous. The epidermis composed of five layers. CLGSB, CLGSB, corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, and basale. So, the papillary layer, reticular layer, pag sinabing loose si papi, loose papi, pag sa reticular, it's a dense irregular. Ang ating footprints and fingerprints is papillary. So, yun. So, ito na talaga yung summary ng ating skin. So, next is, so, this is the uh, microscopic image of the skin. So, this is the epidermis, the papilla, and the papillary layer. So, those are the layers of the skin. So, as you can see, the epidermis is thicker than the dermis. So, these are the different uh, layers of the epidermis. Tatum corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, and basale. The dermal papillae extend to the epidermis. With the papillae, is this responsible for the fingerprints and the footprints. Yan. So, the next. So, It's the same as before. So, the epidermal area have five layers. Dermis is a stratified squamous epithelium. So, the stratum basale uh, consists of keratinocytes. Spinosum consists of several layers held together by desmosomes. Um, granulosum consists of cells with granules with keratohyaline. Keratohyaline granulosum. Cell that occurs in the stratum granulosum. Lucidum consists of layer of dead transparent cells and stratum consists of many layers of squamous cells that most superficial cells slough off. Ayan. Slough off yung corneum natin. 
So, what are the cells in the epidermis? Sorry, I am not going to repeat. So there are four cells in the epidermis: the keratinocytes, which produces lamellar granules. So, ito yung nagiging water repellent sealant ng ating epidermis. Melanocytes develops the ectoderm of the developing embryo produces pigment or melanin. So, melanin yung sa skin natin. Kung ano tayo, yung sa cells natin, kung pumuputi or maitim. So, longer hand cells, also called as epidermal dendritic cells, arise from the red bone marrow, which is migrate to the epidermis. So, yan yung longer hand cells protection natin. And Merkel cells, least humerus epidermal cells located in the deepest layer of the epidermis. So, conduct the flattened process of the sensory neuron Merkel or tactile disc. Yun, for the sense of touch, the Merkel cells. So, these are the melanocytes. Diba? Dark yung color niya. So, melanin containing vesicle, melanin pigment. So, pag na-expose sa araw, Uh, nagpo-produce yung melanin. So, madaming melanin sa mga black friends natin. So, yan. So, direction of cell movement. So, from the stratum basale, cells divide by mitosis and some newly formed cells become the cells of the more superficial strata. So, tunitulak lang yan niya pataas. So, in the stratum spinosum, keratin fibers and lamellar bodies accumulate. In the granulosum, keratohyalin granules accumulate and a hard protein envelope forms beneath the plasma membrane. So, ayan. Pataas. So, these are the keratohyalin at the stratum granulosum. Lamellar body releases lipid, keratin, intercellular lipids. So, yun. Meron desmosome sa so stratum basale. Saan nagkakaroon ng cell death? Diba? Sa granulosome. So, keratinization. Keratinization is the transformation of living cells of the stratum basale into the dead squamous cells of the stratum corneum. Yun yung kaninang pinakita. So, meron tayong two kinds of keratin. Soft keratin and hard keratin. So, soft keratin is present in the skin inside the hairs. Hard keratin naman pag sa nails and outside of the hairs. Hard keratin makes cells more durable and these cells are not shed. So, yung makuko natin. Ayan. So, meron thick skin and thin skin. So, pag thick skin, we have 5 epithelial stratum. So, pag thin skin contains fewer cells per stratum, stratum residuum is usually absent. Hair is found only in the skin. So, for the skin color, so, the melanocytes produce melanin inside the melanosomes and then transfer the melanin to the keratinocytes. So, the size and the distribution of the melanosomes determine the skin color. So, melanin produ production is determined genetically by can be influenced by ultraviolet, tanning, or hormones. So, carotin, an ingested plant pigment, can cause the skin to appear yellowish. Yung kakakain ng carrots. And, don't this yellowish is fully caused by liver diseases. So, erythema, redness, increased blood flow, Pallor, pale, cyanosis, decreased oxygen content in the blood results in bluish color of the skin. Yan, lang yung tandaan yan, ha? So, ito. Ito, may jaundice, erythema, ito, mayroon cyanosis, so may bluish discoloration. Ito naman is carotinemia. 
kakain ng carrots. So, the skin color, meron tayong mga abnormalities. Uh, albinism is usually recessive genetic trait that results from inability to produce tyrosinase. So, the result is a deficiency in absence of pigment in the skin. So, the hair, the irises of the eyes are white. So, hindi, ano, hindi available yung tyrosinase. So, exposure of the ultraviolet light darkens the melanin already present in the skin. So, the skin in stimulates melanin production resulting in tanning. So, yan, pa nagpaparaw tayo. Na-activate na ultraviolet rays yung melanin production. So, melasma or mass of pregnancy during pregnancy, certain hormones such as estrogen and melanoid stimulating hormone cause the mother's body to increase melanin production which is causes darkening of the nipples. So, yun. Melasma. So, this is the... Uh, Example of albinism and a woman with melasma. So, melanosomes are produced by the Golgi apparatus of the melanocyte. So, melanosomes move into the melanocyte cell processes. So, epithelial cells hepagocytize the tips of the melanocyte cell processes. The melanosomes which are produced in the melanocytes have been transferred in the epithelial cells and are now inside them. So, yan. So, the dermis is connected tissue divided into layers, papillary and reticular. So, alam na natin yan kanina. Subcutaneous tissue located beneath the dermis. So, yun may fats. Loose connective tissue. It contains collagen and elastic fibers. The subcutaneous tissue attaches the skin to the underlying structures in the site of lipid storage. Ayan, lipid storage. So, injections. So, ito as nurses, magiging nurses na kayo. So, injections are used to introduce certain substances such as medication, vaccines into the body. So, there are three types of injection. We have intradermal, as used in the tuberculin skin test. Goes into the dermis and is administered by during the skin. So, so and inserting a small needle at the shallow angle into the skin. So, pag intradermal, 15 degrees lang yung usok natin. Mabayo, mababaw lang siya. So, ginagamit yan sa mga skin test, uh, tuberculin test. Tapos bibilogan mo. So, within 30 minutes, si-check mo kung mayroong reaction. So, yun. So, subcutaneous injection extends into subcutaneous tissue and insulin injection is one example. Subcutaneous injection is achieved by pinching the skin into a form of tent into which is short needles. Needle. So, yan. Pag subcutaneous, yung pag-inject ng insulin. And intramuscular, yun sa mga vaccine yan inject a muscle deep in the subcutaneous tissue is accomplished by inserting a long needle 90 degrees naman ang intramuscular so meron tayong mga iba't ibang vaccines na binibigay through intramuscular so number one na dyan is yung HEPA B uh, ngayon kasi penta na siya may kasama, kakasama na yung mga vaccines so uh, ang BCG intradermal so yun ang ating tandaan Ang MMR subcutaneous. MMR. Misel Mumps Rubella Vaccine. So, yung BCG, yun yung vaccine. Pag pinanganak, yun sa braso. Intradermal yun. Kaya dapat meron siyang uh, sugat. Mag-scarring siya. Ipig sabihin, effective yung vaccine. Yun yung protection against sa TB. So, marami tayong intramuscular na vaccine. Maliban sa Hepa B. Uh, DPT dati yan. DPT. DPT, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus. So, yun ngayon. Pagkakasama na kasi sila sa isang vaccine. Penta. Lima. So, mapag-aaralan natin yan. Sa iba. So, maliban sa uh, vaccine, binibigay din yung mga gamot intramuscularly like um, 
sa mga may tulo, <laughs> sa triaxone, sakit yun, miskin test muna siya, intradermal, pag walang reaction, uh, intramuscular na, sa may buttocks area. So, yan. So, what are the accessory skin structures? Siyempre, number one is hair. So, fetal hair is known as lanugo, is replaced near the time of birth by terminal hair, scalp, eyelids, and eyebrows. And vellus hair. So, at puberty, vellus hair can be replaced with terminal hair. So, yun. May transition from lanugo, fetal hair, to vellus hair, then terminal hairs. So, we have three parts, shaft, root, and hair bulb. So, the hair, the root in the shaft of the hair are composed of dead keratinized epithelial cells. So, the center of the cortex of the cell containing hard keratin surrounds a medulla composed of cells containing soft keratin. Yung soft keratin natin kanina. So, the cortex is covered by cuticle, single layer of cells filled with hard keratin. Bonga. So, accessory skin structure. So, number one, hair, the hair bulb, hair color, determined by the amount of melanin, contra contraction of the adductor pili, yung muscle natin, which is smooth muscle, cause hair to stand on end and produce goosebumps, erector pili. So, this simple uh, illustration, so hair shaft, hair root. The sebaceous gland, sweat gland, hair bulb. So, hair dysfunction, we have different dysfunction. Hypertrichosis, also known as werewolf syndrome, is the condition characterized by excessive hair growth in it where in the person's body. So, it can affect both women and women in extremely rare. Alopecia areata, also known as spot baldness, is condition which hair is lost from or all of the areas of the body. So, yun. Mas gusto mo alopecia o hypertrichosis? Wala po. So, this is hypertrichosis or werewolf syndrome. See, the other picture uh, is the patch uh, uh, yun ang ating alopecia areata. So, another accessory is the nail. So, the nail is covered by skin in the nail body is visible part of the nail. So, nearly all the nails is formed by nail matrix. But then again, the nail bed uh, contributes to the formation of the nail matrix. So, the lunula is the part of the nail matrix visible to the nail body. So, the nail is stratum cream containing hard keratin. This is a simple illustration. So, bala nyo naman sa exam. Char. So, free edge, nail body, nail groove, nail fold, lunula. Ah, inantay mo pa. So, yun. Yan yung mga parts ng ano, nails. So, meron tayong different glands. So, sebaceous glands produce sebum which oil the hair and the surface. So, eccrine sweat glands produce sweat, syempre. Apocrine produces organic secretion that can broken down by bacteria to cause body odor. So, yan yung makikita sa kilikili. Seruminous gland which makes serum or earwax mamari gland produces milk. So, lagi nyo tandaan na. So, another illustration. So, yung erector pili. Yan, yung erector pili. 